Thank you, Lord. We glorify your name, Lord. <laughs> Thank you, Jesus, for another day in your presence. Blessed be God. Blessed be God. Father, our heart is full of joy. We rejoice, O God, because of today, O God. This is the day that you've made, O God, that will rejoice and be glad indeed. Blessed be God for everyone that is here right now. Thank you for those who are going to watch us later. Blessed be God. Blessed be God in the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus' name. Amen. Now, welcome for another day in His presence. And today I'll be looking at a message titled Gratitude and Greatness. Gratitude and Greatness. Now, and I will be taking my test from the book of First Chronicles, chapter 16, verse 31 to 30 to 34. First Chronicles chapter 16, verse 31 to 34. And the scripture begins. To say in verse 31, say, Let the heaven be glad and let the earth rejoice, and let men say, Let men, not even three, let men say among the nations, The law reign it. That is the duty of man. The law reign it. The law be magnified. And if you get to say in verse 32, say, Let the sea roar and the fullness thereof, let the feed rejoice. And all that is therein. Then shall the trees of the wood sing out of the presence of the Lord, because he cometh to judge the earth. And in verse 34, where I'm going to stop, he say, Oh, give thanks. This is the commandment that is given to us. Oh, give thanks unto the Lord, for he is good, for his mercy endure forever. For his mercy endure forever gratitude and greatness now let me begin by saying that gratitude and greatness are like twins they work together you cannot easily separate them when you see a man or that his heart is full of gratitude i tell you you're going to get, get up higher there because when you thank someone let's let me just bring it to a normal day when you thank someone that helped you yesterday and thank him today is committed to do more and that will help you to greatness in life gratitude and greatness gratitude is to be thankful and to be thankful is to continually load your tank with god blessing to be thankful to be to follow your heart full of gratitude is to continually load your tank full of god's blessing so we must cultivate the, uh, the habit the, the, of thanking the Lord, regardless where we are, regardless what is going on right now, whether you have a job or not, thank him, whether you are married or not, thank him, whether you are rich or not, thank him, whether you are even poor or whether you are even sick right now, thank him, because there are many who did it, that's, they are sick, they keep them with it last night. As we begin to thank him, he's committed to take us up out of where we are to demand want to claim now it is only great fools that does not see greatness in god it is only great fools that does not see greatness in god someone will say who is god forget about god i don't need god what have god done to me that man is a fool i am not the one saying he's a fool bible says he's a fool you see because a fool say there's no god so i am not a uh, quoting on my head, I am referencing the Bible. He said, Only a fool say there is no God. But you and I know that there's God. Hallelujah. Now, why must we thank the Lord? You say, What about you? Also, we should thank the Lord. You'll be full of our heart, full of grateful. Uh, uh, we have a great, grateful heart. Why must we? One, because number one, because God is God. God is God all by himself. You can't question him. He's your mini president of many science. He knows all. You cannot question God. You cannot take God to, to any law court. You see, God has sued God. You cannot. It's God all by himself. It's God all. So if we discover that it's an unquestionable God, we need to respect and honor him and hallow his name. Bless his holy name. You see, let all the, all the living that are the hard bread Bless his holy name. Hallelujah. Now, God is God by himself. Verse, uh, 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 Psalm 107, verse 2. Psalm 
verse 1. He said, Oh, give thanks unto the Lord, for he is good, his mercy endure forever. Oh, give thanks unto the Lord, for his mercy endure forever. Then this is also, this is my favorite. In verse, in verse uh, 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 Psalm 103, bless verse 1, bless the Lord, O oh my soul, and all that's with him in, bless his holy name. Bless his holy name. All that's with him in. Bless his holy name. And in verse 2, say, Bless the Lord, O my soul. Forget not all his benefits. Me, serving the Lord have benefit. Forget not all his benefit. And they begin to say, say what, are the, what are the benefits? Look at verse, look at look at what he said in verse two, uh, uh, 3. What are all the benefits? One, I'm going to mention there. One, who forgiveth all the iniquities. Who could have gone because of our sin, died a long time ago. But one of the benefits, he forgiveth all our sins. So in other words, before you sin, you already make a place for you for him to forgive. That's why Christ went to the to the cross to die. He forgave our iniquity. Now look at look at uh, number two benefit. Who he let all our diseases, not one remaining, all. What I mean or all, all means all. Who he let all our diseases. God will not heal your headache pain and and uh, and uh, you still have a sugar diabetes? No. When God decides to run an extra to take a, a, a forensic audit about your head, he will check, 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 check this. So I know he have all this in line up. He will come and heal them all. That is why when, people, when you see people who have encountered Jesus and they were sick, maybe they have multiple uh, uh, diagnoses of sickness. When God appeared to them, he healed them, he healed them all. No, remain. Who healed all our diseases in the number, th number three uh, uh, benefit? Who redeemed the life from destruction? Who could have died a long time ago, but he redeemed my life. Now, number five, number nine, the next one says, Who crowned thee with loving kindness and tender mercy? Another benefit says, Who satisfies the mouth with good things? So that our youth is renewed like that of eagles. Our youth is renewed. A lot of egos. So we must know that God is God all by Himself. When we look at the the, the attribute of God, it is a love to be grateful to Him. God is ageless, tireless, weariless, and 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 and, 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 and He is Almighty, so powerful. He's our present help in time of need. He's our present help in time of need. He is, you cannot compare him to any other God. All that gods are works of men. But this God that we serve is a great God. Forevermore we will serve him. Hallelujah. Then number two, why must we uh, be have our heart full of gratefulness or gratitude to God? Because of what he did for us yesterday. Yesterday is gone and he rescued us um, and brought us a new day it is a new day for you forget about what happened last night bible says weeping men do for a night but joy your joy is now in the mighty name of jesus so he did wonderful things in our life yesterday so we our heart is full of gratitude to him psalm 124 look at what the bible said I love this. You see, if I have not been the Lord as on our side, when men rose up against us, then work would have been consumed. But look at what uh, New Living Translation says. Uh, what if the Lord had not been on our side? It's a question. What if the Lord decided to abandon us, decided to leave us alone? What if the Lord decided to turn his eyes against us? What would happen? What if the Lord have not been on our side? When people attack us, they could have killed us. But he is on our side. I tell you, no matter what is going on right now, God is on your side in the name of Jesus Christ. So we need to understand that God is God. And he will not leave us alone. So we must be ready to give him praise, give him thanks. Don't allow your present uh, uh, situation right now, position right now, 
to deprive you of not giving God all it desire, the praises. God don't need our money. God don't need our car. Don't need our house. God only need praise. We need to worship Him, give Him praise. Let Him, let Him, let Him take His place. Hallelujah. Anywhere I go for worship, I ask, I ask, I, ask, I tell people who invite me, say, let us do more worship. Let's praise Him the more. Because when we worship Him, the glory comes down, and I can begin to see things clearly. You cannot go to a church with a dry atmosphere and expect God to show up. No, He does not show up that way. You need to worship Him, bring His presence down. When He prays, go, He step down by Himself to answer. Hallelujah. Is God. Number three, thank God for where you are going. Not where you are right now, but where you are going. You are heading somewhere. You are a, con uh, a content in a container going to a continent to happen big. You are a content in a container going to a continent to happen big. Thank Him for where you are going to. The fact that you are alive today, it means we have hope. We have hope of, 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 of getting somewhere one day. Bible says, unto them that join to the living, there's hope. For a living dog is better than a dead lion. Thank God there's the hope. A living dog is better than a dead lion. Never complain, no matter your present situation. Never complain. Take everything to God. I don't know who I am preaching to today. But I'm telling you the remaining part, the remaining months of this year, days and weeks of this year, if you can develop the heart of gratitude, I tell you, get to your aptitude. Hallelujah. Never be de never depressed. Always, always give God praise. Always be smiling. Let people know that God has done so much for you. Are you with me? Give him praise. Never complaining. Complainer will not get anything from the Lord. To complain is to continually call pain. To complain, keep complaining, is to continually call pain. When you see someone who is complaining, 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 it's calling pains. It's a way to complain, give him praise. It's easy to give him praise and to complain. When someone asks you, how has how the Lord been? You say, the Lord is faithful, is good. When someone asks you, say, but uh, how is this? He said, we bless the Lord. Don't allow negative word to come out of your mouth. The devil must not sow negative word to your mouth. We bless the Lord. Praise Jesus. So, so we, must, we must learn how to thank him, how to give him praise. Learn how to give him praise. Never complain. Complain and memorials are, are not going anywhere. But don't be friends with them. Walk away from them. We must hold on to this word of God. His word is yea and amen. Those who murmur in life never see more in life. Those that murmur in life never see more in life. If you want to see more in life, don't murmur. Keep, keep giving praise. Don't complain. Keep giving praise. Showing gratitude is one of the simplest things you can do for God and for man. People lack that word gratitude in their in their dictionary. Anything anybody give to them, they feel they deserve it. They say I deserve it. Because I'm a talented, that's why they give me. Because see, even even to pastors, anything they give us a pastor, thank God for that they give you. Don't say I'm too smart because I am loaded with the word of God. People, people are seeking after me. No. There are people who are more anointed than you. Yet yeah, they've not got to where you are. So every situation we find ourselves, we must learn to thank him. We must learn to give him praise. Showing good, gratitude to God. Gratitude, yet is, yet is. Showing gratitude is one of the simplest, like I said, that can lead us to the top line. Then number two, you're going to see gratitude unlock the fullness of God. Gratitude unlock the fullness of God. It turns what we have, what we don't have, to our brothers. We begin to have more than enough because of gratitude. Gratitude turns denier into acceptance. It turns denier into acceptance. 
Hallelujah. So if one not deny you, when you begin to uh, give him praise, uh, 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 give him thanks, I tell you, you begin to see great things happening in your life. You must be ready to give him praise, to thank him. People don't know how to thank the Lord. When you receive miracle, you say, share your testimony. You are not sure just going to, to make them the man the pastor big. No. You are sure just going to remind God that you are God all by yourself. Because men pray, but God heals. If men pray and pray and God did not do anything, then good night. Hallelujah. Uh, so even Jesus give thanks to God. When you give thanks, God will multiply that you have. Now Matthew chapter 14, verse 17. Now this is where Jesus Christ was feeling the crusade and said, let them sit down so they can feed. They said, where, where can we get food for them? He said, let them sit down. In verse 17. And they say unto him, we have here but five loaves and two fishes. And he said, bring them hither to me. And Bible say that when he saw the multitude, all of them said that Jesus lifted it up and thanked him. And God multiplied. God multiplied. So we must learn to thank the Lord. You that's watching me right now. And look as if you are confused in your situation you are. Thank him. When you thank him, you see God in everything. It is your season to thank him. Never look down on God and say, well, uh, because I'm going through this in giving praise. Giving praise. You need to dance before the Lord. You need to dance before the Lord. You need to uh, uh, actually uh, celebrate a have a tangible of praising God in your house as a family. Have a tangible. Gratitude is a provoker of God's blessing upon our life. Gratitude is a provoker of God's blessing upon our life. When you have a heart of gratitude, thank Him, the Lord. You are provoking, provoking heavens on earth. And I tell you today, as you take off. The tambourine and begin to praise him. It's about to do great things. Joshua has two doors with his little ones. And, the, and, and God gave him instruction, say, praise, let, let them praise the Lord. And as they are praising the Lord, God set an ambushment again. their enemies. Today the Lord will set a punishment against your enemy. Victory is on your side. And then Jesus. As we bring the telecast to close, this message to close, I want you to just get a song or praise in your heart. Are you going to be singing? Just giving, giving God praise. Let you know that it's too powerful. It's too faithful to fail. Hallelujah. God is God all by himself. And forever we will serve him. Now, if you don't know Jesus, this is time for you to accept him. Let his let him manifest himself to you. See for the earnest expression, wait patiently for the manifestation of the sons of God. Let him manifest himself to you. I say, dear Lord Jesus, I am a sinner that needs repentance. Have mercy on me and wash me with the blood of the Lamb. I declare with my heart and with my mouth that you died and rose up on the third floor. Today, I ask that you write my name, God, in the name of Jesus. Father, I thank you and bless your name for this one. Let your name be glorified in their lives in the name of Jesus. They are blessed forever. They are blessed forever in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name. Amen. Now, go to our website and just drop a note. Let them know that you get born again through the telecast and the Lord will bless you. The Lord will keep you in the name of Jesus Christ. Write to us. I'm going to send you some material. By the grace of God to keep you going in this Christian journey. You are blessed forever. Now, before we end the teleclass, please, if you want to give your offering, go to our website. All right, go to our website and see, please, God partner with us or donate. Wherever you are in the country, in any way in, 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 in the world, whether in South Africa, any other country, you can you don't need to come to our studio or come to our church physically to give your offering. You can go to follow that uh, uh, link and just drop your offering or your donation or your partnership if you want to partner with us. The Lord lady to do that. Please do that. And I promise you, as we receive your offering, immediately we're going to reply you and acknowledge you, acknowledge it, and begin to pray for you. The Lord is so good and be gracious unto you. You'll see that blessed.
for your harvest this day in the name of Jesus Christ. And now before we sign up, before we end this telecast, also go to Google Amazon, Google Amazon, also Google Play Store. You're going to get our books from there. And as we get all those books, read them. Uh, they're going to be read to you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. You can also buy for your friend. The Lord is good. His mercy is endure for him. Hallelujah. But don't forget you need to praise God all throughout this season. And you're going to see, in fact, as a matter of our half 21 days of prayers, of praise, not prayer. Don't ask God anything. Every day, we call, if it's just five minutes, just praise Him for five minutes. Make it 21 days, and you see God move as God in your life. But don't forget, no matter what matters, what's happening, know that the same God is like to work in your life. I see you again, and I trust the Lord that the hand will be so strong in you. Cha cha. Shalom. God bless you.